One day you stumble across an old videotape. For our younger audience, that's the thing that movies used to come on, and decide you don't know what's on it, but you gotta watch it. Besides, this thing's practically ancient technology, so you decide to gather up some friends, buy an old VCR from a pawn shop, and get some kicks out of watching this dusty old antique. When you play the tape though, there's nothing on it but static. And then suddenly there's what looks like a ring of light at the end of a dark tunnel. Horrifying images flash by, maggots feasting on rotten food, dead horses on a beach, a mysterious figure with long black hair over her face. Then just like that, it's over. Confused, you fast forward, but there's nothing left on the tape. And then suddenly, your phone rings. A raspy voice on the other end says two words, seven days. As a cold chill races up your spine, you realize you've really done it now. You've cursed yourself with death in seven days at the hands of a vengeful ghost. It's you up against Samara from the Ring franchise. So you've watched a tape you shouldn't have, and now you've got a fight to the death versus a vengeful phantom in seven days. How in the world are you going to get out of this one? First is our rule number one. To fight your enemy, you must know your enemy, so let's find out exactly what you're up against. Samara was a little girl with a mysterious and very troubled past. Some people say that she was the product of sexual assault, while others whisper that she's the spawn of a sea demon. Her exact birth may be a mystery, but what is known is that since her birth, Samara was different. Born with powerful psychic abilities, Samara had the ability to project images directly into the minds of those around her. This was something she did without any control. In fact, something she would do without even being aware of what she was doing. Shortly after her birth, her mother was told by voices in her head that the only way to purge Samara of the evil spirits inside her was to drown her. And so her mother tried to do just that in a fountain outside of the Christian hospital where she was born. Fortunately for Samara, and unfortunately for you, a group of nuns discovered the act and quickly stopped Samara's mother, who would go on to be institutionalized. Samara was then adopted by a doting mother and father, who were prize-winning horse breeders. Samara was loved very much, but as she grew older, her powers intensified, again, still without her knowing and with no ability to control them. At first, this would cause occasional horrible images to be projected into the minds of those around her, but it soon grew in power and began to increase in frequency. The local townspeople in the small island where she grew up on feared and reviled Samara for her power, blaming all sorts of bad circumstances on her. This led to Samara growing up mostly alone on her parents' property, where she spent most of her time swinging alone by the sea. As her powers grew in strength and frequency though, even her doting adopted mother began to grow more distant, terrified by the constant flashes of horrible imagery into her brain from Samara. Talking to a psychiatrist, Samara proved her power by burning images into a piece of blank tape. It was at this point that her parents decided they needed to lock Samara up to keep her from harming anyone else. Sealing her up in the upper level of a horse barn, Samara unleashed a flood of horrible images into the brains of the horses below her one night, causing the animals to break out of their stalls and commit suicide by jumping off a cliff. The psychic attack had struck dozens of horses around the island, however, and in total 36 animals had died that night. Her adopted mother, haunted for years by the terrible imagery and now heartbroken over the death of her horses, finally had enough. In a fit of rage, she smothered Samara with a black plastic bag and then hurled her into a well, closing the lid behind her. Remorseful for the murder, her adopted mother would also fling herself off a cliff. As far as powers go, Samara has the goods with a capital G. She's fueled by pure hate with an intense desire for revenge, and her psychic powers have only grown stronger in death. She is now able to directly control those powers and can manipulate the perceptions of her victims by making them see things that aren't actually there. She can create images, sounds, even smells that don't actually exist, and typically will haunt her victims to be during the course of the week leading up to their death, gradually driving them crazier and crazier. She's also able to directly attack the mind of an individual though, and it's thought that this is the method by which she kills. Samara first terrifies her victims to lower their mental defenses, and then projects a series of horrifying images all at once directly into their mind, causing a psychic and fear overload which kill the victims instantly. When it comes to weaknesses, well, there just aren't any that we can think of. Samara may possibly be the offspring of a sea demon, but she is herself not demonic in nature. This means that the typical tools provided for humanity to fight off evil demons and the such simply won't work here. Holy water, true faith, and religious artifacts will do nothing to stop Samara. She is a spirit, which also means that physical weapons and traps won't have any effect on her whatsoever. 
She has no connection to any living individual, so you can't force a reconciliation between her and family to calm her murderous rampage. Even giving her remains a proper burial is not enough to stop the killing. In short, we hate to break it to you, but this time, you're absolutely boned. So how can you fight off something that can't be killed, is impervious to physical damage, and can't be dispelled in any way? Well, let's first start with preparing you for battle. Remember, you have seven days before she comes for you, so you best be prepared. The first thing you need to do is start working on your fear response, because Samara literally uses fear to kill you. You need to expose yourself to as many terrifying situations as you possibly can. So sell everything you own, because you're going to hit every roller coaster in driving distance. And when you're done with that, you'll be bungee jumping, skydiving, and going free diving with wild sharks. You'll have to get your adrenaline pumping and not just make friends with fear. You need to get into an intimate relationship with fear. You need to marry fear, hold and cherish fear until death do you part. So get to doing every crazy thing that you've always been too scared to do. That still won't be enough though, because Samara specifically attacks your mind with horrifying images. So it's time to steel yourself against the worst visual horrors you can possibly find. For the first horror, find a mirror and stare into it. Just kidding. Although you're going to have to call the doctor now because the infographics show just gave you a sick burn. On a serious note, you're going to have to go and find every disgusting, over-the-top special effects creature feature you can get your hands on. The Thing is a classic and features plenty of horrifying imagery, though 1983's Videodrome is a notable classic as well. Perhaps check out some of H.R. Geiger's artwork, whose terrifying imagery inspired the xenomorphs from the Alien franchise. Now that you've gotten used to the feelings of fear and conquered them, and steeled yourself with horrible imagery, you have to work on a sense of inner calm. Take some yoga classes, start saying namaste instead of thank you and you're welcome until you annoy everybody around you and they want to murder you before Samara does. Adopt a freegan diet and eat nothing that hasn't fallen off a tree naturally. Start listening to Gwyneth Paltrow's absolutely insane, overprivileged and out of touch tips for how to live your best life. You'll need to get spiritual like now. You'll need that inner peace and inner calm because Samara is coming to wreck your mind with a psychic blast of fury and disturbing images. Ok, you're a zen master with nerves of steel, and you're just in time because it's now day 7. It's D-Day, Samara Day. She's been waiting patiently and now she's coming. What are you going to do? No, seriously, what are you going to do because we have no idea. Our teams of professional researchers, archivists, theoretical physicists and engineers here at the Infographics Show have poured over the scenario from top to bottom and we can't think of a single valid strategy for defeating Samara. She literally has no weaknesses or vulnerabilities and in fact only seems to exist for one thing, the complete destruction of the human race. That's why she wants the cursed tape copied by every victim, so that more and more will exist and she can eventually flood the world with it and kill every living person. She is rage incarnate and will not be sated until our world is in ashes and ruins. So you better get to copying that tape. You may not defeat her, but at least it'll save your life, sort of, because Samara likes to play fast and loose by her own rules, and she's been known to kill people who copied the tape and made someone else watch it anyway. You're going to have to prove your worth to Samara. But how do you convince a mass murdering ghost with extinction on her mind to spare your life? Simple, you make yourself useful, indispensable even. Don't just copy the tape once, copy it a dozen times. Make a dozen people watch it, hire out a theater and host a private screening. If you live in LA, just market it as a networking event and hordes of out of work actors, writers and directors will show up, all desperate to talk to someone important. But the joke's on them, because there is no one important there, there never is. But what is there is celluloid death. Your plan is going to be to make yourself so valuable a tool to Samara's <laughs> ultimate plan to kill all of humanity that she just kills you last. You may not win in the end, but at least you don't lose quite as bad, and that's a victory you're just going to have to live with. Think you actually know how to kill Samara? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other video, You vs. The Nun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.